In this video we are going to learn how to alias columns and then how to use two order by statements to sort by two different columns. So type use my dbase right now type select all from dbo the usual dot and then table one. Okay so this as usual will be result in returning all of the values that we see here, columns. So first we are going to now talk about aliasing columns. So type name as and then within a single quote type full, this is really a first name, like that, and then period and then title as employee title and within a square brackets money earned as salary from dbo.table1. Now look very carefully. Right now, as you can see, the fields have ID, name, title, money earned. When we run this code with a column aliasing, look very carefully at what happens. You see, first of all, we are not including the ID column, and then the field called name is renamed first name in the results. And then title is renamed employee title, and then money earned is renamed as salary in the results. Okay, so that's column aliasing in action. Now, let's add a record selection statement. So where money earned, like that, not between... 170,000 and 260,000, like that. So this will select all the records where people are either below 170,000 or above 260,000. Execute, and that's that gives us Tom, Mary, and Bob. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's add sorting by two different columns to complicate the query a little more. Now you're going to say order by title descending, comma, and then money earned ascending. Okay? As an example, obviously in a real application, you know things have to make a lot of, you know, great amount of sense. So, <clears throat> all right. Now, what we want to do is to see the full effect of this query. Go back to the table, right-click it, choose uh, Edit Top 200 Rows, and add a sixth ID. Say this would be John, and he, he will also be a star salesperson. And say he makes an absurd amount of money for whatever reason. Okay, maybe he's at 10 million in sales, who knows? All right. Make sure this takes effect. So now notice we have two people with the same title. Click that off. Look very carefully at what happens when we sort by title and money earned. So take a look at the results. First of all, <clears throat> we have column aliasing in action and column selection followed by column aliasing essentially. They're both the same at the same time here. So we have that. And then we have the where statement which selects a subset of the records meaning this condition, right, that the salary value has to be less than 170, essentially more than 260. And lastly, we have order by title descending, followed by money earned ascending. So here's star salesperson, star salesperson. And notice that it's sorted that way. And then the salary, it says money earned ascending, is sorted as 300,000 followed by what did I put there? Three and a half million, you see? There you go. So you see this in action. <clears throat> now remember, look at the estimated execution plane here of the query. There you go. So once again, as before, see the act of sorting is quite expensive, so let's keep that in mind. And also keep in mind the fact that don't try to run a query after you type it on a live data set. That might be huge. You want to first parse it, make sure the you know, language is correct, right? and work on a subset of the data, sufficiently sized subset, so it represents you know, the results 
of querying the whole database accurately. That's a whole separate topic though, but uh, here you go. So this is the basic code. Thank you very much, and I will see you in another video.